To install the console, first I'll head to smarttoploy.com. If you haven't already done so, create your account by clicking the download button and following the prompts. Once you have your account, you'll land here. Now, I have some information about my company and other users with access to my account will appear on the left here, but let's click the download button and download our installer. We'll save that to the desktop and then run the installer. The installation wizard will check our system and it's going to install some prerequisites for Smart Deploy, so I'll click install to get started on doing that. The Windows Assessment Deployment Kit will need to install, so I'll click Next. I'm going to leave the defaults for the privacy settings and accept the license agreement. The Smart Deploy installer has already checked the components that we need, so unless you happen to need one of these other features of the kit installed, you can just leave it as is and click Install. I'm speeding this part of the video up so we don't need to wait for any progress bars. With the kit installed, we can move on to the next requirements, which are Microsoft Local DB and SQL Server Compact 4.0. When the wizard starts, I'll click Next, accept the agreement, and click Next, and let it do its thing. And so, with our prerequisites out of the way, we can install Smart Deploy. I'll accept the license terms and click Install. Once it's installed, the first thing we'll need to do is log into the console with our Smart Deploy account. I have my username and password here, so I'm going to click Remember Me, and then I'll click OK. Now we're going to get asked to add exclusions for the Capture Wizard and Media Wizard in Windows Defender, and what this will do is allow us to run these Smart Deploy components without the real-time inspection feature of Windows Defender. The reason for that is that it slows them down quite a bit, and so by clicking Yes here, you'll allow the Smart Deploy Capture and Media Wizard actions to go much faster. Before we get into using the console, it's a good idea to check out the settings and look at the Smart Deploy directory. This is where Smart Deploy is going to store all the objects that you create and download, like your images and platform packs. The default is C, but maybe you have more room on a different hard drive in your computer, so just know that you can change that before you get started. Also, if you do have a proxy server that you need to use, here's where you would enter that information. And with that set, we're ready to get started.